Hello everyone and welcome to me and Eric's instructional video on Aris Nevu, which is a mod pack about spell books and uh, wizardry. Okay, uh, long spells. Now we're gonna explore how to make spells. So for for uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this scribes table. And here you see all of the glyphs in the game. That and all you have to unlock all of them to be able to use them in the spells. And it could be anything from uh, leap to fly to ignite, all of those things. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the spell book, and then we're gonna make a spell. So uh, I wanna fly. So then we're gonna pick self. We're gonna pick. Um, leap because that makes us jump up into the air then we want to amplify that so we jump up higher in the air and then we want glide uh, and after we made that spell now if we right click with the book in our hand we're gonna start flying and that's this that's the simple way of uh, how this mod how you make spells in this mod Hello everyone! Now, you might be wondering what is left in this mod to know. Well, there's a lot. For example, behind me right here, right here is the, the enchanting apparatus. Which, well, above here, this is a source jar filled with source, which powers basically everything crafting related inside this mod. Uh, it, well, it powers the in, in, enchanting apparatus to create powerful items, just like the the gear that me and Anton are wearing. And over here, we have a an imbuement chamber, which uh, can also be powered by source to speed it up. It is right now set to create air essence, which you can see in the middle right there. And to make it, I will just insert a source gem. And you might be wondering, what is over here? Over here, we have a warp portal. Warp portals can be made using a source of source, uh, the frame of uh, the source stone, and a warp scroll. The warp scroll can be bound by shift right clicking, uh, and then uh, you have it set to that location you were just in. And if I move away and right click, I will teleport to that location. But that will sometimes use up that uh, scroll, but and to make it a permanent uh, addition, you can then uh, turn it into a portal. And when you have the portal setup done, uh, it can be any shape, uh, as long as it is a rectangle. And you will then just need to throw the warp scroll into the portal frame. And now you have a portal, and you can teleport willingly, uh, freely between those points. That's very cool, Eric. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this video. I ho really hope you enjoy this guide, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.